So the author says, sometimes bad things happen for no reason other than we are human beings that have human experiences. Pain, heartache, grief, loss, disease, and death are inevitable parts of our human experience. We hear people say, life dealt me a crappy hand, as if pain and hardships are somehow something that should never happen to us. What makes us think life is supposed to be easy? And when things don't go our way, we feel like we've been wronged. Somehow, we humans think we're owed a pain-free existence. The writer then shares that the truth is, human beings are not exempt from human experiences. None of us are exceptions to the rule. We all struggle. We all suffer. We all experience pain, heartache, and loss. And sometimes there's just no reason other than we are human and pain is part of life. The writer went on to say that she had talked to a friend recently who was struggling to find peace with God's plan for her life because this person had just lost a loved one. And the friend said, how could this possibly be God's will? And here's what the writer shared about God's will. God's will is not the path we walk, but rather how we walk the path. I thought that was kind of deep. In fact, I had to read it twice. God's will is not the path we walk, but rather how we walk the path. So she's saying God's plan is never for someone to have cancer or an innocent child to die or for us to have a chronic pain, illness, disability, or death. God's will is not for that event to happen to us, but it's how we respond to what happens. Okay, so that means God's will then is for us to walk with him through cancer, illness, death of a loved one. God's will is for us to draw close to him in the midst of pain. Maybe even use this painful event to carry his message of hope, grace, forgiveness, and mercy. As I read that article, I went to the scripture, and while Carol's Bible, I'm sure, is dog-eared, and she would know what exactly where to find it, as many of you would, I go to Google. And I say, Google, find me some scriptures of comfort. Google came back with 2 Corinthians 1, verses 3 to 4. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all of our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble by the comfort with which we ourselves have been comforted by God. So then the writer went on to say that we're not responsible for our pain. What happened in the Garden of Eden is responsible for human condition. Simply put, Adam and Eve ate the fruit and sinned. That makes us hardwired for pain and suffering. God's not causing the hurt. He is hurting with us. What we do with our hurt is what matters. How we handle tragedy is what brings purpose. There's no justifiable reason that bad things happen in life, but we have to create the good. We have to choose to respond in a way that brings good to our suffering. <clears throat> Once again, I went to the Bible and did some more Googling, and I found a couple more good ones. Romans 15, verse 13. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Another one was in Isaiah 41, verse 10. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. Yes, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. It was interesting that my 
my daughter Amy sent this to me because many of you know Amy's story from her book Chasing Hope, where she's lost six babies in the course of trying to get the one she did get. It was a long journey, a long journey for a mom too. A journey that at times I felt, will she lose her faith before she ever gets a baby that she gets to actually keep? So when she sends me a devotional article to read, I think she's got it. She's back in her game. So when I read this, I finally did understand the writer's whole point. Not everything does happen for a reason. But in everything that happens, there can be a reason to bring hope and healing to others. God can use our pain for a greater good if we choose to let him in. God can use our pain for a greater good if we choose to let him in. Please pray with me. God, open our hearts today and always that we can know you walk beside us in the good times and the bad times. Then help us to share that with others to help our friends and neighbors find comfort when they need it. Amen.